Langoustine Lobster Enchilada here in Vince's Kitchen. Langostino lobster enchiladas. Very simple ingredients. Everything is off the shelf. I have uh, green chilies, uh, two different types, one roasted, uh, the other one peeled. I have a nice big giant yellow onion diced. I have just a Mexican style blend from the big box store of Mexican cheese. I've got Philadelphia cream cheese, which is going to marry absolutely well with the langostino lobster. And then I have uh, corn tortillas. We're going to assemble it just like we would a lasagna. No rolling involved. Very simple dish. Very easy to get to, um, uh, to make for dinner. Uh, once we assemble it, we're going to throw it in the oven at uh, 375 for 20 minutes, much like we did the lasagna recipe. Then we're going to uh, uncover it, uh, if I didn't mention that before, uh, regarding, um, uh, we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven at 375 covered with tin foil. Then we're going to uncover it, uh, and then we're going to cook it for another 20 minutes uh, uncovered in the, uh, uh, in the oven. All right, much like the lasagna recipe, we're just going to go ahead and we are going to pour in a little bit of the green salsa. Now let me grab napkin here so we don't make that big of a mess but we're gonna go ahead and coat the bottom of the pan All right then we'll take our corn tortillas and just layer it like a lasagna very simple very easy to sim uh, to assemble uh, very easy to do very quick and very very delicious All right so we get that first layer in there we'll go ahead and Add the cream cheese and just a spoonful here and there uh, because it will melt itself evenly but a few tablespoons to dollop in there right one on each tortilla will work right just like so Get that going. And we'll get that going. All right. Put that off to the side. We'll layer in our chilies. Just like that. And then we'll just continue to build from one layer to the next. And another layer. I'm hoping to get, just like the lasagna, three layers out of it. Go ahead and layer in some onions, layer in the black olives, and then we'll go ahead and grab the pre-cooked frozen langoustine lobsters from the big box store. We'll just sprinkle in a little bit, just like so, all right, and then we'll put a big heaping handful of the Mexican style cheese blend. And just be absolutely generous with that. And we repeat a little bit more enchilada sauce. Just like so. Layer in the, now this is a shallow pan. It just seems to, that I have an inventory of shallow pans. All right, we'll do the same thing. Add another layer. I may just have to go for two. All right, just like that. Cream cheese. It's just cheese on top of cheese on top of cheese. So let me get go ahead and get through this. I'll go ahead and cover it up, get it ready for the oven. Okay, so here is, as I'm finishing cleaning up, here is 
our fully assembled enchilada slash lasagna langoustine lobster. I'm going to go ahead and cover this up with tin foil now. And then we're getting the oven preheated for 375 degrees. And then we're going to be setting this bad boy in. Now, I have went ahead and put it on top of a uh, cookie sheet. Uh, because there's going to be spillage. It's just uh, my pan's way too shallow, but it's going to taste amazing, so I'm okay with it. Anyway, so uh, 375 for 20 minutes. I'm going to let that cook up with uh, uh, with the tin foil. Then we're going to pull the tin foil off, another 375 for 20 minutes, and then we're going to let it sit, and then we'll do the taste test. Easy peasy, nice and easy. So our enchilada was stacked. Uh, our oven is at 375 degrees. Uh, we've placed the enchilada in the oven for we're about 20 to 25 minutes, covered with tin foil. Once the bell goes off after 25 minutes, we're going to go ahead and put it back in for another 25 minutes um, at 375, uncovered. And then we'll let, let it sit so that everything can just sit and solidify so that well, we don't have a, a repeat of the lasagna incident where it just spilled out all over the place. So we have our langoustine lobster enchilada and the cream cheese and the langoustine lobster. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, uh, the taste uh, is absolutely amazing. Um, uh, you still have the crunchiness of the onions. Mm. The cream cheese is what takes it over to the top. Um, I mean, what doesn't taste good with cream cheese, right? Mm. absolutely delicious one of the other things I think would happen on this particular mm. Mm. still absolutely delicious so one of the things is what I did is I noticed that the tortilla is really coming through so what I would do for next time is probably double up on the uh, tortilla just to make sure that it soaks up all of the the juices and everything and then crisps up a little bit better but other than that the flavors the taste is absolutely on point hope you guys got something out of today's episode please like subscribe definitely hit the notification bell so that you can see future videos leave your comments down below and as always thanks for coming to my party <laughs> love you mean it